Hello Flutter devs, welcome to episode number 1. Today I'll show you how easily you can create onboarding screen on Flutter. At first we have an image, then a large title with short one or two lines of text. The bottom of the screen contains an animated page indicator and a rounded button for navigating to the next page. It's time to code the screen, first need a column, inside the children define the illustration or you can say image and set the height to 250. It's not exactly what we want. To fix that, wrap column with safe area. Still, a lot need to fix, but we'll do it later. Below the image, define a text. I need a bigger text. That's why I set text style to headline 5. Looks good, but medium font width looks perfect. And on Flutter W500 means medium font width. Now set the text alignment to the center. After that, define another text and keep it as it is. Just set the text alignment to center. Need little free space between those two texts. Define a size box and set the height to 16. Inside a column, put a spacer at the top. Then add another one after the image. As you can see, slowly we are getting in shape. We need to place the spacer after the text. Already done with the top part. Let's make a component. Click on the column, then press Ctrl Shift R. Select Extract Wizard. I'm going to call it Onboard Content. Need parameter for image and title. Also make those required. Means you have to pass something on that parameter. Now replace image string with image, large text with title, and another one with description. Back to Onboard screen and pass the required parameter. On Flutter, a wizard called PageView allows us to add slide effect to the UI. So wrap our onboard content with PageView.Builder and you are done. Now we need the bottom part. First wrap our PageView with a column. Oh no, now everything is gone, shows a blank screen. To fix that, wrap our PageView with a expanded wizard. Use sizebox to define the height and width of our button. I think 60 is good. We don't have an exact wizard for rounded button, I'm using elevated button. Make sure you define on pressed now as an empty function and the child is an SBZ icon. I want a circle button but right now the corner of our button are a bit rounded. To make it full rounded button change the shape to circle border. Last but not least change the icon color to white. What we want is, once the user tab on the button, it slides to the next tab. We need a page controller to make it happen, but first convert the stateless onboard screen to a stateful wizard. Then define a private variable with a late modifier. On init state, define the page controller and set the initial page to zero. Don't forget to dispose the page controller. Back to pageview.builder and set the controller to page controller. Restart the app as you can see the error is gone. To make it work, need to call the next page method. Also, don't forget to set the curve and duration. By default, I'm using 300 milliseconds for that kind of animation. Till now, each tab looks the same. To fix that, first I'll create a model called onboard, which have three parameters: image, title, and description. Once done with the model, create a dummy data for onboarding screen called demo data. Again back to page view and set the item count to demo data dot length. Also replace the onboard content parameter. The indicator is just a simple container with a height of 12 and a width of 4. The color is the primary blue color and the border radius is 12. Extract the wizard, I'm gonna call it dot indicator and add a parameter called is active and it's false by default. If the indicator is active, the height is 12 otherwise 4. Here number of dot will be the length of our demo data and each dot add a padding of 4. 